Path Pilot Quick Tips Robot Edition. So today I want to cover Cartesian jogging on the robot. If we go over to the jog screen here, you can see other than joint jogging, we have some buttons that handle Cartesian jogging for the robot. And as you might suspect, we can do this either in steps or continuously. Step sizes depend on whether you're in inch or millimeter mode, but right now I'm in metric, and so I've got this set to 10 millimeters. And you can see that if I click the Z negative button, the machine jogs in Z, Cartesian Z, 10 millimeters each time. Likewise, if I jog in X, you can see the machine moving in X, 10 millimeters. If I jog in Y, you can see the machine moving in Y. So that all makes probably quite a bit of sense. Very similar to jogging a milling machine in X, Y, and Z. Unlike a milling machine, though, we've got three other axes here, referred to as Euler angles, and those are A, B, and C. A is rotation about the x-axis, so B is rotation about the y-axis, and C is rotation about the z-axis. I'll show you C jogging quickly because it's the easiest to kind of conceptually uh, grasp. If you see, if this is the z-axis, then C-axis is rotation about the z-axis, and so when we jog C, you will see not much happens, but uh, you can see the C-axis. We're seeing rotation right on the C-axis. A harder one to get would be A and B. Rotation around the X-axis is A-axis jogging. And so if I jog the A-axis, we're going to see the tool control point rotate around the X-axis. Likewise, B-axis jogging is rotation around the Y-axis, and so if we jog in B, we will see the machine rotate around. It's hard to imagine, but it's rotating around the Y-axis there. And all the rotation comes from the tool control point, which currently, with no end effector, is sitting right here at the end of the, the robot's flange. We've covered jogging in X, Y, and Z, and you've seen me jog in A, B, and C. But when I was doing that, those axes were all relative to the work offset coordinate system of the robot. And right now, that coordinate system is, is just from the machine base. There are other ways to jog, and we provide a very easy way to jog in a tool frame of reference. Before, I mentioned well, this is Z aligned with gravity, and this is X, and this is Y, which is just like what you have on a milling machine. But if you use the tool frame of reference, Z is whatever happens to be planar or normal to the uh, end effector. So in this case, tool and work are the same. The tool is pointing down, so the Z direction is down. But I'll show you an example of jogging in tool coordinates. I'm just going to move the marker over to here so it's pointing out here. Now, remember, it is pointing in the Y direction with respect to the robot's global work coordinate system. But the tool, if we're looking at the tool's frame of reference, this would be the Z direction. You can see here if I jog using the tool's frame of reference, the Z direction is actually going to be this way. Likewise, if we jog in the X coordinate system, right, the frame of reference is that way. So the difference here, and it's easier, it's easiest to comprehend with, with Z, right? Z for the work coordinate system is, is going to be directed with gravity, and Z for the tools coordinate system is going to be normal to that end effector flange. You see here, if we're jogging in tool coordinates, Z is going to move the thing back and forth relative to the, the end effector. But if I switch to work, of course, Z is going to move down. I'm going to throw one more wrench into this, which is we've been jogging with respect to a work coordinate system and with respect to the tools frame of reference. But keep in mind that the work coordinate system can be offset, just like a work coordinate system can be offset on a milling machine. So when I show you that the machine jogs this way when we're in work coordinate modes, that's because right now there's no work coordinate offset set. 
it's kind of like G53 in milling machines. But unlike in milling machines, I can easily set ABC work offsets, which completely change the equation. And this would be useful, for instance, if you have a surface that's not, not planar to the base of the robot, it's some, some slanted surface. You want maybe this to be X, this to be Y, and this to be Z, right? Not this. And so we can change those work offsets. And of course, if we change those work offsets, the machine's jogging behavior will change as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. We'll also be covering jogging using the interactive marker in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.